To find the oxidation number for the Cr and CrOH3, that's chromium and chromium-3 hydroxide, we'll use these rules here. So first off, there's no negative or positive sign after our chromium-3 hydroxide. So it's a neutral compound. All these oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So there's two ways to do this. The first way is to look at this hydroxide ion here, OH. In an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge on the ion. So all of these are going to add up to one minus. So the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to this minus one. Since we have three of these, three times minus one, that's three minus. The chromium has to be plus three. So the oxidation number on the chromium in CrOH3 is plus three. There's another way to do this too if you don't know the charge on the hydroxide ion. So we have our neutral compound here and we don't know the chromium, call that X. Oxygen is minus two in almost all circumstances. Hydrogen, because it's bonded to oxygen, which is a nonmetal, it's gonna be plus one. So now I just set an equation up. X plus, we have minus one and plus one. So that's minus one times three is minus three. That equals zero. So we'll add three to each side to get X by itself. X will equal plus three. And that's what we found before using the other method. So either way, you get the same answer. The oxidation number for Cr and CrOH3 is plus three. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.